What's up, insiders? You know the drill. This is the news flash. We're going to run through a couple of updates to keep you informed about what's going on on the platform. First up, hot off the press is audio library attributions. Now, this is a launch. This launched just yesterday, so hot off the press indeed. We're talking about videos which contain music that is stored in the YouTube audio library. What's going to happen here is that they will now see a music in this video attribution on their watch page. The goal here is to connect users to music featured in a particular video. Let us know if you have any questions in the comments below. Now, I want to take you through a launch that I'm really excited about, and that is around YouTube search improvements. I want to take you through two ways in which we're trying to make the YouTube search experience better, helping users to find the content they're looking for more easily. Now, to start, we'll be making YouTube search more visual, but I hear you cry, what does that actually mean? Well, up until now, we've provided you with a thumbnail image for the videos that you're browsing. And that thumbnail image was designed to give you a snapshot of the content that you're browsing through. But now you'll be able to make an even more informed decision about the video that you're about to watch through video chapters, which will be available directly in the search page itself. Now, when available, these timestamped images will detail the different topics covered in a specific video and let you evaluate the overall video you're about to watch. You can also jump to specific sections in the video that pique your interest. Secondly, being able to see a snippet of the video is really helpful in providing context about what the video is about. Now, on desktop, you can scroll over the video and begin to see a snippet that details the context of a given video directly on the search page itself. We're rolling this version out on mobile to help you preview content and really make a decision as to whether it's the content that you're looking for. Now, if all that excitement wasn't enough for you, let's talk about a really awesome experiment. And this is called Contextual Actions in the YouTube main app. We're introducing a new feature that's gonna suggest actions based on the content of the video that you're watching. The suggested actions may include things like reading movie reviews if you're watching a movie trailer or looking at the local store hours if a specific business is mentioned in a video. And you can find these suggested actions in the video description itself. Now, when you tap on these suggestions, you're gonna be presented with an information panel based on what you've clicked on. When you're done reading, you can easily close the panel and get back to watching the video itself. We're gonna be rolling out this feature on the YouTube Android app, and we'll consider rolling it out more broadly based on feedback. So if you have any feedback, make sure you drop a comment below this video. And finally, we're about done, but not before I tell you about a really interesting blog post that we just published, and that is around the creator economy and various efforts around responsibility and rewarding creators. Make sure you check out that blog post, really interesting stuff, and there's a link in the description below this video. From the creators of YouTube to YouTube creators, thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you soon.